What's going on guys, Linus here, and welcome back to Civilization V, which we haven't played in a very long time. And I'm sorry, I've just been really busy with other stuff, you know, like, fake busy. Uh, but we're finally back, and we're gonna play it again. I'm playing on a somewhat lower difficulty than I was used to before. Uh, cause I have to get back to it, you know, I haven't played in, in, in months, so, um, just to get used to it again. Uh, we're gonna be playing as the Netherlands, and I have to thank Introducing Emmy from uh, youtube.com slash introducing Emmy for making my title card slash uh, thumbnails. It looks amazing. She basically drew me as the um, the, the Dutch leader, William or Willem, Willem. Um, and I, I uh, picked a few other civilizations that are very close to the Netherlands on the map. Um, I chose not to go with France. I mean, obviously they're very close, closer than Spain. Um, but in the last game, I remember friends being kind of a bitch, so I thought, you know what, Napoleon, you just stay right where you are. You're not welcome anymore. Um, also, I turned off the time victory, so you can only win using an actual victory condition, so science, domination, cultural, diplomatic. Uh, you can now save your policies, your promotions, and you have to completely eliminate someone to kick him from the game, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I had that all. P Pangea. We're playing on that big map again. No ocean stuff. Just straight, you know, basic stuff that I understand. So let's just start the game and see um, uh, how this will turn out to, to go. Because I don't know. I haven't played it in Prince a long. William of Orange, liberator of the Netherlands and hero to the Dutch people. It was your courageous effort in the 1568 rebellion against Spanish dominion that led the Dutch to freedom and ultimately resulted in the Eighty Years' War. Your undertaking allowed for the creation of one of Europe's first modern republics, the Seven United Provinces. You gave your life to the rebellion, falling at the hands of an assassin in 1584. But your death would only serve to embolden the people's charge. And your yeah, I'm familiar with the story. We were one of the first people to have a republic. Suck it, America. Except we're back to monarchy now. We just got a new king. How sweet is that? Yay, I'm super excited. Um, as for the spawn... Yeah, that's not super great, is it? Crap. Uh, okay, so we got some sheep. We got an oasis, which is actually quite good. Truffles. Marble. I feel like we should go closer to the ocean. This is this. I could just go with this, but there's desert there, and I absolutely despise a desert spawn. So we're going somewhat close to the ocean. We can still get some desert hills and stuff. Um, just get away from the the boring normal desert, which doesn't give you anything. Um, but I was talking about the title card. She made me that title card, and it is insane. So, uh, you know, thanks again for making it for me. Uh, she gave it to me like two weeks ago, and I still didn't record um, Civ until today, which is May 1st. It's maybe going up a little bit later, I'm not quite sure yet, we'll see about that, but, uh... Yeah, I, I actually, I was, you know, putting it off for way too long, so let's just, uh... Start again. Amsterdam. So, wait. Um... Let's see... Pottery... Uh, so, I actually need trapping... To get these little bastards. Also need pottery to get wine. Which one do I want more? I think I should just go with wine, because I'm classy like that. I like wine more than I do truffles. And let's get a scout, because we need someone to scout the map for us. Um, I actually decided to play as the Netherlands, because I asked her to make a title card. Just, you know, spur of the moment decision. Just ca Is that even a thing? Spur of the moment? I just that just came up, came up in my head. Um... But she said, sure, like, what do you want me to draw, uh, you know, what do you want me to draw on there? Which Civ is your favorite? And I figured, you know what, I'm Dutch, I'm just gonna say draw the, you know, William of Orange, and, uh, just go with that. And that's basically the only reason why I'm playing as the Dutch again. Also, I'm Dutch, so that's, you know, it's cool, it all fits together like a big puzzle. So, uh, that's why, just so you guys know, just cause I said in the heat of the moment, maybe that's what I meant, I don't know. I just said, um, you know what, do, uh, do the Netherlands. And that's how that came to be. What did I get from the ruins? No explanation? 
Did I turn that off in the options? Am I that dumb? No reward pop-ups. Why did I do that? I don't know. I'm an idiot. So from now on it should pop up again. But what did we get from that will probably be forever a mystery. Let's see, my city didn't grow in size. It's still a one. I didn't get money. They didn't become a uh, spearman. Uh, let's see, I didn't get part of the map. They didn't tell me about anything, so I don't really know what it did. It could be anything at this point. Uh, but yeah, as for Civ, I'm going to be uploading it a bit more than I used to in the past. I want to make the video somewhat shorter, around 15 minutes, and I want to do it almost daily. Because I love Civ, and I know a lot of you guys that watch this series love Civ, and I just feel like an idiot when I don't upload it, but... You know, after a really long game of Civ that just ends really disappointing, you just have to take a little break from it, and that break turns into, like, several breaks, and then you are pretty much done. Um, okay, so this is actually something I want to try to get people involved. Um, I was always wondering what is the most popular tree to pick. So, if you're watching this video right now, could you please leave me a comment and tell me whether you would normally pick Tradition, Liberty, or Honor first? Um, because I don't know, I pretty much always go with, uh, Tradition or Liberty. Uh, most of the time I go with Liberty so I can get that Settler, but I also like Tradition because you can get free monuments, you can get some extra food, which is really great in the beginning. Um, and I pretty much never go with Honor, only when I'm really like a military nation and I want to destroy barbarians and get experience for my units, but that's pretty much it. So I'm wondering, what do you guys pick? You guys that actually play this game? Which of these policies is the first one that you pick? That's just, you know, just a question. Just out of the blue. Uh, you also get a free worker with this with this one. You know what? I'm going to go... I think we have... Um, see, let's, let's be rational about this. Let's take a look at the city and see what we're producing. So we're mostly producing uh, production. Uh, if I said to a food focus, we still have more production than food. So what I'm going to do is actually... Um, do something that I normally wouldn't do. Normally, I'd go with Liberty. Uh, it gives you a little bit of culture, which is great. And it also gives you uh, production. Extra production stuff, extra workers, stuff like that. But I'm going to go... Uh, actually, that's pretty far away. Eh, I'm not really sure anymore now. Border expansion in cities and also grants plus three in the capital. Which I like. Okay, let's just get tradition for that alone we're gonna get three extra points every turn and we're gonna get to the next tree soon enough so no worries bray now what i could do is just focus on not a monument and just get another warrior and then when i get my policy i'll just get that you know what i'm gonna do that i'm gonna sort of see and just go I don't, i'm not making sense am i i'm just rambling um i'm just gonna make decisions as i go so if you hate that you can you know, fight me, that IRL. Use. Yep, I get it. Advisor. I don't really know why he's still there. I turn it to expert player or something like that, but it still shows up. Every single time. Uh, okay. Well, that went pretty much exactly as they predicted. I love it when that happened. No, wait, I didn't mean to do that. No! Oh, okay, we're cool. I was trying to see if I could use the WASD buttons or keys, and as it turns out, you cannot. See, I've played over 150 hours of Civ, which isn't that long, you know, I'm not trying to brag, I'm just saying if you play a game for 150 hours, you'd think that you would sort of understand the basic controls, but I still don't. So that's sad. Pottery done. Sweet, so let's go with the, um, uh, they're advising animal husbandry, and they're also telling me to go with, uh, let's see, mining. Chop down forest, construct mines. I don't really know why I wouldn't need mines, because there's no... Well, there's marble there. That's ma ma masonry. Same issue I always have. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I should look that up for once. Um, let's just go with the... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do my own thing. I don't even care what you want. I'm going with writing. Mixing it up. Oh, yeah. Because I want to get... Um, Technology. I want to focus a little bit of technology in the beginning, get those warriors, you know, we're going to get that monumental stuff anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Scout, go around. Ooh, truffles, eh? Bananas. That might be a good spot for my second city. 
I will have to consider that, but first we have to focus on other stuff, you know, getting a settler, uh, things like that. Let's see, truffles, lots of jungle, there's another city-state nearby, a lake? It's actually not that bad a place, in my opinion. I mean, that's just my opinion, not that anybody cares about that, but, uh... If you look at this, there's a little bit of desert, but it's all heal. So you got good stuff from that. Mountain? Not perfect. I will admit that. But if you have a mountain, you can make an observatory, which actually isn't that bad at all, so... Things to think about. To consider. There we go, give me a free monument. I appreciate that very much. Decisive victory? Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. Make Colombo like me. Hopefully. Oh, come on. General, I give me 30 gold. They have gems and porcelain. I appreciate it, I guess. Um, ooh, shrine. Let's go to the shrine, get some religious points as soon as we possibly can. That guy needs to rest. Uh, scout, we can keep going. So, there we go. We already have a small amount of money. You know, it's sort of okay. Um, four gold per turn, five happiness, six culture, which is actually pretty good so far. 25 gold, and now this warrior is going to get destroyed. I love it when that happens. So much. Let's send this other warrior to just get rid of that camp, because I'm not a big fan of having barbarian encampments. Dios bendiga a aquellos que lo merezcan. Right next to me. Soy oh my god. De Not you again. Proseguí. She's making more gold than me. Get out. You. Oh no, she's really close. Yeah, I don't like that. Not a big fan of her. I'm not saying I don't like Spain, because Spain's awesome and your, your language is amazing, but... Uh, Isabella in this game? You know, not my number one person to go to when I need to do well. Let's just leave it at that. I don't like her. She always backstabs me. I don't know what her deal is. Ooh, an oasis. Amsterdam can fire. Ooh, let's soften them up. There we go. It's gonna make this a little bit easier. Minor victory. I'll take it. Also, Amsterdam has grown in size. Let's heal this warrior up. Don't want him dying on us. And seems like we're still doing pretty okay so far. I don't think I did any super stupid stuff. I probably did some things where you were like, Oh, what is this guy doing? But it's not the end of the world. It's still sort of okay. And that's always nice to see. So far, you know, still got the happiness, got the money. We're gonna have a little bit of science coming in soon. As long as, you know, we can get writing and then a library soon after. Because that can really make a difference. Someone already... What? Spain already has that much religion? What the fuck, Spain? Are you kidding me? How do you do that? Antwerp. I hate Belgian people. Totally kidding, by the way. I don't hate Belgian people. I just like seeing it. Uh, you're still healing. I find that agreeable. Okay, there we go. And next turn. Please do not murder all. I don't think you can reach them in one turn. Nope, they're fine. He Riding completed. They we're making one extra goldie. Sweet. I put in 15 city states. I'm not sure if I said that. I added three. I don't know why. I was just on that slider and I thought, mm, okay, let's just add a few for literally no reason whatsoever. Um, calendar will be next. We have writing, which means in two turns we can start constructing a library. Uh, which I like. And we're going to get more happiness as well. As soon as we have a worker. Sedan. I don't know where that is. I have no idea. Kind of sides, sounds like a car. Hey, England. What's what's cracking? Where are you located? I'm going to find London. Zurich. Okay. Where's London? L London. I feel like I say that weird. London. London. Uh, library worker. Library worker. Library is pretty nice. You know what? F it. Let's make a library. I never do that this quick, but, you know, I'm going to change things up. Keep it fresh for you guys, for myself. It'll be cool. There's lots of silk here. Look at that. All the city-states are hogging all the silk. Okay. 
Isabella likes shiny things a lot. I'm doing okay-ish. You know, I could have been done worse. Um, so let's see. 15% production when building wonders. Don't really have to have plus one happiness for every 10 citizens in a city. Yeah, I don't have 10 citizens, so that doesn't really help me. Uh, one gold and one unhappiness. Minus one unhappiness for every two citizens. I only have like three, so that doesn't really bother me that much. I'm going to go with extra food, because that can make a ton of difference. I'm going to pick that, and I'm going to go into the, uh, what was it, Liberty? Yep, Liberty is, is the next one to go to. As soon as I get enough culture to uh, go into that tree. What's happening? Oh my god, someone's getting destroyed. Oh, it's just a barbarian. No worries. And now they're killing my scout. Worries. Okay, scout, just retreat into the forest and heal up. You're no use to me when you're dead. Next turn, we're gonna grow. Oh yeah, all because I picked that policy that made it a little bit faster. This guy's done. How about finishing some barbarians? And they're growing. Only ten more turns. They're doing pretty okay so far. Gustavus. Yeah, I don't speak Swedish. I don't know what he's saying, but he's probably like... Check out my beautiful fire behind me and my beard. It's so crispy. Okay, bye. Anyway... We're not in last place, so I'm pretty happy about that. One unmet player, which could be Austria, or it could be Germany? Is Germany in there? Uh, I don't remember. All I remember is these three. I think Austria's in there. I'm just not sure which one that was. I couldn't have gone with... Gee, I don't know. I don't know what the other one is. Mean event. Yes, embassy. Very well, sir. It is that I have this much money, or I wouldn't have done it. Oh, that's where Sweden is. Stockholm. Let's do the same with, um... Let's keep our enemies very close to us. Saludos. Hey, about an embassy. Continua. You got it, babe. See, she doesn't have writing yet, and I do. Hello again. Which I love. And now I Go ahead. can buy embassies from them, and that will improve relations, tell me where they are. Madrid, I'm, from the looks of it, I'm about in a, like, in a triangle with London and, um, Madri Madrid, so I, you know, I don't know, it's, I guess it's an okay situation to be in. Trespassing, what is my scout doing? Scout, what are you doing? Are you trespassing? Oh, he just, you just expanded to hit, to, to them, that's not their fault, you stupid Zurich. Zurich. I hate you so much right now, it's rude. Who's this? Oh, so Germany is there. I am extremely close to Germany. We all know how well that goes. The Netherlands and Germany are right next to each other. That never went wrong. Sweet. Um, let's see. I'm going to go with uh, animal husbandry. See if there's horses nearby. But anyway, guys. Um, this is about the limit of this video. Uh, just have sort of have a feel for how long they're going to be. A lot of stuff can go down. I hope you guys enjoyed this little return to civilization, and I'm sh I'll be sure to uh, record way more of this and start a new game pretty soon after this one's over. So you're going to see a lot of Civ on my channel from now on. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave that comment about the policies, and I will talk to you guys later.